On October the 18th, 2022, I had a dream. In the dream, I was walking along a particular boulevard in London, and a man walked up to me and said, Pastor Kilpatrick, it's so good to see you. And he introduced himself and asked us to pray for a well-known apostolic leader of a significant church body in England. The apostolic leader was lying on a cot right there on the street. And several of us gathered around him and I asked what was wrong with the man and how we should pray. And they said, he's suffering from a spirit of infirmity. And I was not expecting that answer, but we began to fervently pray right there for him on the street. All of a sudden, something popped and snapped and that spirit just snapped right off of it. He was released from the spirit of infirmity. He immediately began to improve to the point that he fully recovered and was up walking around in no time. Those nearby that heard me pray over him and they also heard the pop were caught off guard and amazed that the spirit of infirmity had popped off of them too. A strong wind began to blow on the streets of London, whipping through the city. It was not a destructive wind, but a strong supernatural wind. And I remember seeing the giant Ferris wheel called the London Eye. It's been credited with sparking a worldwide revival of Ferris wheel constructions. No power was hooked up to that Ferris wheel, but it began to turn. It wasn't operational by the power of a motor. The giant wheel was rotating by the power of the supernatural wind that was blowing from heaven. The ministers and religious leaders wanted to make sure that the people knew that the wind was not manufactured, so they brought other mechanisms on the sides of the streets to prove to the people that the power of the wind was not generated by man, but was a supernatural wind of the Spirit of God. They were very protective of the power of the Holy Spirit gripping their city, and they wanted nothing to distract from this wind of the Spirit. And I can see from a high vantage point that tens of thousands of people, maybe hundreds of thousands of people were gathering in the streets below. The sight was stunning and the sounds were deafening. What was equally amazing was others on the streets were released simultaneously from the spirit of infirmity. And suddenly healings, miracles, began to spread all along the streets quickly. Societal rejects, outcasts that didn't fit in because of their strange looks, began to come out of the buildings into the streets to see what was happening. Loud praises erupted as people started glorifying God in greater and greater numbers. It seemed revival had broken out right there on the streets of London. People emptied out of the hospitals into the streets with their gowns on and their IVs attached. They were glorifying God because they were instantly healed. Then I saw a sight that I'll never forget. Have you ever been driving through the country on a cold winter day and seen a vast number of birds rise up off the ground and fly together? You see their solid dark colors swim in the sky like a cloud. Then in unison, they will turn and it almost looks like they've disappeared. Well, in my dream, I looked up above the streets of London in the sky and I saw the same type display but I feel sure it wasn't birds. It appeared more like a vast number of evil spirits, almost like bats lifting off the city. I heard voices crying out from the streets, look, COVID is lifting. Look, the plague is lifting off our city. And a deafening roar of praise broke out as the long dark night of the soul was finally broken off the city. I looked over and was startled to see the recently deceased queen. She stepped out from the shadows. She was rejoicing and weeping and saying, this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. I prayed for this to happen for so many years and I'm so thankful that I have been allowed to see this. 
I wish it could have happened while I was still queen. As I awakened from my dream, I looked across my dark bedroom and my digital clock read 5.55. I really believe I had a God dream. I was trembling with great excitement on the inside, wondering what the purpose of the dream was. Well, I feel in my heart this is why I had the dream. I believe healings are about to break forth in the mighty name of Jesus. These healings will take place in large cities and small, in churches, fellowships, prayer gatherings, throughout the nations of the earth. The satanic grip of the spirit of infirmity and the crippling spirit of depression and heaviness that came with COVID is now lifting. In the book of Acts chapter two, there was also the distinct sound of a powerful wind. Acts two said, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting. Let it be so, Lord Jesus. On this day, October the 23rd, 2022, I want to boldly make this proclamation. The spirit of infirmity is being broken. And I also declare in Jesus' mighty name that healings and miracles be loosed May this powerful wind of the Holy Spirit blow upon us all.